It is the time of year when bears start emerging from their dens and begin searching for food. Yes, yeah, several hundred bears are on the move and could show up in your neighborhood. John Shumway is live now with some things you should keep in mind. John. Yeah, I know I'm absolutely safe where I am because we're in downtown Pittsburgh. This is one of the few places in our neck of the woods where it's pretty safe to say you probably won't see a bear. Anywhere else, it's fair game, and it's certain that we'll soon start hearing the reports of bears in neighborhoods. Their long winter's nap is coming to an end, and the black bears of Pennsylvania are starting to emerge. And as game conservation officers have told me over the years... They're always hungry. Bears will stop and eat at bird feeders and find any kind of garbage that might be set out at the curb. There's not much you can do to protect your bird feeder, but you might want to put your garbage cans inside until collection day, inside a garage or a shed if possible. And as we saw with this hungry fellow a couple of years back in Monroeville, they love sweets, which is what the Game Commission uses to lure them into its trap. But feeding them is illegal and... That is just a absolutely not good idea. Uh, this is still a wild animal. It's a very large wild animal. Um, typically, they do not um, go after people, but any wild animal uh, has the potential to, uh, to injure somebody. Unpredictability is the only thing certain about a bear. They're curious. Um, so when people start interacting with them, um, you know, that gets very dangerous. So scratch the idea of getting a me and the bear selfie. People need to make sure they keep a safe distance, um, a, good, a very good buffer zone, and do not feed this bear and do not try to get close to it to take pictures. And if you do come across one... Don't run from a bear. Try not to turn your back to a bear. Uh, the, the safest thing to do is to just to slowly back away from it and give it a safe distance if you happen to get too close. Immediately call the Game Commission and if all goes well, well. the bear can be caught and moved to a safer, more remote location. And there's a certain amount of logic in this that as you get away from Pittsburgh up into the Laurel Highlands or going north through northern Butler County and up towards I-80, you're going to run into the higher probability of seeing a bear sometime this summer. But again, the Game Commission says it is illegal to feed them and give them a wide berth. Reporting live downtown where it's safe, John Shumway, KDKA News.